Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, just got a question posed on my uh, camshaft synchronizer video. Uh, where was the hold down bolt I was referring to? So I'm going to try, it's getting, it's dark out, but I got my trusty Streamlight Stylus Pro here, which on a side note is an excellent flashlight. Um, I'm going to try to get down here and show you what I'm talking about. Alright, well, uh, it's not showing up very well at all. Oh, there it is. Okay, about the middle of the screen. Let me back the light up. There we go. Alright, you see the uh, camshaft position sensor there on top of the assembly. Um, and back there on the engine block, you can kind of see it, to the left of the sensor, you'll see a bolt. And if you just kind of take your hand and you follow that uh, synchronizer assembly down the back side till you get to the engine block, you'll see what I'm referring to there on that uh, hold down bolt. Now I'm going to go in the garage here and kind of show you what I was talking about when I stabbed this thing in. Um, if you notice, this is the old assembly. If you notice on here, uh, the gears are at an angle. So when you put this in here, what actually happens is this tooth will rotate a bit. And I just, re uh, you know, those pictures I took, I just used those as a reference point, And I stabbed this in. And this would rotate ever so slightly, you know, uh, I forget what direction it is, but it will rotate. And when I referenced the pictures, I noticed that it wasn't in the exact spot. So I pulled it back out. You know, this was before I put the hold down bolt down. And I slip pushed, you know, I turned it a little bit, turned the tooth. It's hard to do with one hand. Turned the tooth a little bit, stabbed it back down, and it was too far the other direction. And I got it about the middle of where I had, you know, from the first two attempts, stabbed it down in there, and it was referencing those pictures. I could see that it was in the exact spot that it needed to be. So I hope that answers your question. Um, something I didn't throw in the video that I want to uh, throw out there is you, it's a good idea to. Um, um, Oh, gosh. What, uh, disconnect the negative battery terminal. Sorry, my brain stopped working there for a second. Uh, disconnect the negative battery terminal and do not turn your engine over once you pull this thing out. Because if you do, um, your engine is turned. Uh, it won't be, you won't be able to line it up the way it was in the pictures because your engine is turned over. So, um, before you start working on this, after, you know, when you take your pictures, unplug that negative battery terminal. Don't turn the engine or anything. Leave it exactly as it is because if you turn the engine, you're going to screw up your timing. So, that being said, um, if you embark on this project, good luck to you. Uh, like I said, it was a fairly easy thing to do. Had it done in less than an hour. And, man, my truck runs, uh, runs a lot better. So, everybody out there in YouTube land, take care. Peace. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. And uh, I'm out.